Hey guys, how's it going? Joshua Crisp. Um, today's tax day. It's the 15th. So um, I'm going to be meeting with my bookkeeper here in a minute and then heading over to my CPA's office uh, to gather the books and go ahead and submit uh, payment for this quarter. And um, it just really got me thinking about, man, shoot, when I first started, I knew nothing about taxes. I was so hungry to start selling that all that was on my mind was starting to sell, finding a product, you know, how to get out of poverty, how to escape, uh, you know, a dead end job um, that I hated. Um, so I wasn't thinking about things like taxes. I didn't have any um, knowledge or any experience with taxes. You know, when you work for somebody else, all that stuff's done for you. It comes out of your taxes, or excuse me, it comes out of your check before you even cash your check or get it direct deposited. So with that being said, um, I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax guy. Um, I can't legally tell you what to do or make any recommendations. I just want to speak on this topic and um, uh, talk about this a little bit so you guys can uh, get this into your mindset and um, start thinking about this when you guys are starting out. So when you create your Amazon account, okay, um, they're going to ask for your legal information, your personal information, whether you went with an entity classification or you did a DBA or sole proprietorship using your social security. There's some digit, some uh, numerical, there's some number that will tie you to your earnings on Amazon and don't let anybody tell you differently. Um, you know, once you're starting out, you know, I'm not saying you're going to have to, you're going to, you're going to have to start paying first quarter right away. You know, you have to get yourself together. Um, but you will have to pay taxes on any capital gains that you make and Amazon will submit a 1099. This is if you get two sales or if you get 2000 sales, your first, you know, your first quarter, first uh, year, um, so on and so forth. So if that being said, um, you know, I'm not saying go hire a CPA right off the, the first sale you get. Um, go buy QuickBooks, an accounting software, the first sale you get. But uh, starting this mindset at an early age in your uh, entrepreneur endeavor will definitely be advantageous and it will save you a lot of headache. Trust me. Um, so start doing simple stuff like creating spreadsheets of what you're spending. Um, make it as detailed as possible. Put days, times products, uh, reference numbers, etc. Um, and you know, if you're not that tech savvy, uh, get a shoebox, um, go get a little bin from Walmart, one of the little guys like this, and put your receipts in envelopes and then label them, you know, January, uh, the, another envelope, February, and start putting your receipts in there. So anything that you purchase, uh, if it's digital, Save it in your uh, Gmail. Save it in your email underneath uh, expenses. Um, I talk about this in a couple other areas. But start tracking your expenses because any expense that you concur to grow your business or to run your business, because you have to look at you have to change your mindset. Instead of being an employee and working for somewhere else where they're taking money out of your check, you are creating a job. Uh, you are a boss. You are a CEO. And you have expenses that you need to concur in order to, to grow um, your business as well as operate it. So start saving all those expenses. Anything from pens to uh, paper, ink for printers, a printer, uh, maybe you need a thermal printer, a postal scale, a scanner, a computer, um, anything along those lines. Um, you know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not recommending go buy an Armani suit and start writing this off and all this different crazy tax uh, deferred tactics that you might hear. I'm just basically trying to help you guys stay uh, stay focused and get organized because I didn't have anybody to tell me this. And what happened is, you know, I generated uh, three quarters of a million dollars my first year in business, okay? And I didn't have anything. So I, I knew I had to pay taxes. I could finally afford to pay taxes. I had to hire a professional and it cost me thousands of dollars for this professional to go through the books, set up the books, organize everything, find my expenses, validate my expenses, create track records, and it's a nightmare. And I'm just trying to save you guys that nightmare. Um, this is something that a lot of entrepreneurs look over. They don't think about just because there is no guidance. They don't teach you this in high school. 
Um, they're more worried about you knowing, you know, uh, chemistry and algebra and, you know, you graduate, you graduate uh, high school knowing how to solve an algebraic expression, but you don't know what a CPA stands for. You don't know what a certified public accountant is. You don't know that you have to pay 30, 28 uh, percent approximately on your, uh, on your capital gains. Um, they don't teach that stuff. So, uh, you know, I just want you guys not to neglect that and to start off keeping that in your mind, uh, starting to get organized, even if it's a shoebox with some envelopes. Um, keep all your receipts. Uh, this will validate your expenses. And when it's time, when you guys start getting money, uh, start making money and the ball starts rolling and you go talk to a CPA or, you know, you buy QuickBooks and you start uh, cycling your taxes and organizing your taxes, then you have a starting point. You have all your ducks in a row. You have all your expenses. Everything is categorized because, um, you know, any business expense or uh, operation expense for your daily business is tax deductible. So this is how you guys are going to help. This is what's going to help you guys keep more of your money because um, that's the battle, the daily battle of an entrepreneur is, okay, I've made the money. Now, how do I keep it? Um, as your sales and your business and brand continue to grow, you're going to escalate up to different tax brackets. And the higher the tax bracket you are in, the more money they will take. And trust me, it hurts writing a $100,000, $200,000 check to the IRS uh, when you busted your face and you were frugal to save this money. So then you start thinking, well, shoot, man, what, what, what can I, how can I benefit my business uh, legitimately and legally? I'm not talking about diving over the line and doing illegal stuff um, to benefit my uh, business. What's advantageous to me so I can keep more of my money. The business can keep more of my money. Um, so this is just a quick video. You know, we're not going to get really, really into depth uh, with this. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not certified. I'm not a CPA. I'm not a tax guy. But I, I wanted to mention that uh, as I'm getting ready to meet with my accountant, um, my CPA, and, and my bookkeeper, and go over the books. Uh, just stay organized. The more organized you guys are, uh, starting out in the beginning, um, the easier it's just going to get. And I, I guarantee you guys, it will make life a whole lot easier. When it comes tax time, when it comes tax season. Um, so with that being said, I hope that this helps somebody, that this makes a light bulb go off in somebody's head. Um, and I hope I save you guys a lot of money and a lot of time because it was a pain in the butt and it cost me thousands of dollars. This is a lesson learned the hard way. Um, so if, this, if you guys enjoyed this, if it helped you guys out, man, please give me a like. Please comment below any questions you have or any videos you want to see. If you're not subscribing, please subscribe. 